Hello. First, I would like to thank you for joining me tonight. The book that I'm going to be talking about is Esperanza Rising, written by Pam Muniz Bryan. Would you like to learn about it? I'm sure you would. But first, I'm going to read you a little part of the beginning. Our land is alive, Esperanza, said Papa, taking her small hand as they walked through the gentle slopes of the vineyard. Leafy green vines draped the arbors and the grapes were ready to drop. Esperanza was six years old and loved to walk with her papa through the winding rows, gazing up at him and watching his eyes dance with love for the land. This whole valley breathes and lives, he said, sweeping his arm toward the distant mountains that guarded them. It gives us the grapes and then they welcome us. He gently touched a wild tendril that reached into the row as if it had been waiting to shake his hand. He picked up a handful of earth and studied it. Did you know that when you lie down on the land, you can feel it breathe? That you can feel its heart beating? This book, Esperanza Rising, deals with diversity, and it is geared for sixth through eighth graders. Esperanza grew up on a vineyard in Mexico. She lived with her mother and father. After her father was brutally murdered, though, her mother, Esperanza, and three of their friends escaped to California, where they were put onto a farm, a Mexican camp working farm, and they <laughs> and where they worked and um, farmed for vegetables and fruits. And Esperanza, who went from a life of not having to work at all, have, having everything handed to her, had to go to a life of living with multiple families and having to babysit for other families so the parents could go out and work on the farms. Esperanza was very shocked that she had to do this and she was very angry. After a while of working on the farms, her mother got sick and she was put into the hospital where she was near death. Esperanza had to take up the reins and guide her and help her, try to help her mom get into um, better shape so she could live. Esperanza went from being very selfish to a girl of learning marvelous things and being able to appreciate other people. Esperanza Rising is a wonderful book to read. I loved it and I'm sure you will too.